Hi, hello, my name's Harmi. I'm one of the medical English teachers here at West London English School. In this short video, we're going to look at different medications and how we can write these as abbreviations. The first one we have is antibiotics. These are, of course, commonly prescribed all over the world for a range of different infections. Um, antibiotics, we've got analgesics as well, pain relief, um, audio also used for different kind of um, ailments as well, including cardiac problems. Um, so we've got analgesics there. Antiemetics, used for uh, nausea and vomiting. Sedatives, again, used for a range of different conditions. Gastrointestinal drugs, um, these are used for things such as indigestion or heartburn, uh, maybe acid reflux. And then we've got antihistamines, again, used for a range of different ailments, um, commonly used with allergies and things like hay fever as well. And then we've got respiratory drugs as well. This one you can see here, salbutamol, uh, commonly used uh, for asthma. And these kind of widen the bronchi, which uh, allows for better breathing. Okay, so we've got a quick task here. Uh, we're going to match these words that you've just seen to the correct stress pattern, so we know we've got the correct pronunciation. So, for example, you can see the words on the left of your screen and on the right are the stress patterns. So what you need to do, you need to match these words to the correct stress pattern. For example, you can see the word respiratory. So first of all, you need to identify how many syllables respiratory has. Now respiratory only has four syllables because we don't pronounce the O. So we don't say respiratory, but we say respiratory. So it only has four syllables and the stress is on the second syllable. Respiratory. Um, if you look at the stress patterns on the right, you'll see it fits with the last stress pattern. So that's what you need to do, guys. You need to match the words, figure out how many syllables they have and where, where the stress is. Okay, you've got one minute. Okay, so how did you get on? Um, let's have a look then. We've got respiratory, we know it's four syllables, the stress is on the second syllable, and then we had antihistamine. Um, this time the stress is on the middle syllable, it's five syllables, so it's antihistamine. We then have gastrointestinal, and this time, quite a long word, six syllables, and the stress is on the fourth syllable. Sedatives. So I don't know if you heard that, but the stress actually falls on the first syllable. Antiemetic. Okay, so we've got five syllables in this word. The stress falls on the fourth syllable. Analgesic. And this time, um, four syllables, the stress on the fourth syllable, antibiotics. Um, we've got, well, you can see here, it's the final stress pattern. So we've got respiratory, antihistamine, gastrointestinal, sedatives, antiemetic, analgesics, 
antibiotics. So this time we're going to look at some abbreviations now um, and we're going to just see how you can write these medications as abbreviations. This is useful if you're writing prescriptions or if you're um, writing up medical notes as well. So first of all we've got frequency, so how often the patient would take the drug. Um, a lot of these are kind of Latin or Greek abbreviations. If you've done your medical training in English, you'll probably be familiar with this. Um, if not, it's really worth getting to know these abbreviations. As well as frequency, uh, we've also got how you take the drugs. So we've got these um, words here. Um, and these are, of course, different ways of administering the drug. The most common is probably uh, by mouth or orally. However, it does depend on the patient and on the situation as well. But it's certainly worth familiarizing yourself with these abbreviations. OK, we're going to do a quick task here. Um, you're going to see a, a sentence and you need to write this as an abbreviation or with abbreviations. For example, we can see here this sentence, one gram of paracetamol four times a day, by mouth or orally, up to a maximum of four grams. To write this as a medical abbreviation, I would do something like this. One gram paracetamol. So you can see, rather than writing gram, we've just used G. Same principle when you have kilograms, you would write kg or milligrams, mg. And then we've got um, QDS, four times a day by mouth or orally is PO and a maximum of 4G and you can see we're using the symbol which means no more than so a maximum of 4G. Okay guys so you'll now see four sentences you've got 20 seconds for each one you need to transform this right using medical abbreviations. Okay good luck so this is number one. And number Okay, how did you get on? Uh, let's have a look at the answers. This was the first sentence. Uh, we had four milligrams of loperamide, so you would write 4mg loperamide. As required is PRN, uh, by mouth orally is PO, and then we've got our symbol and 16 milligrams. Okay, and the next one here, I've got 100mg of rantodyne, BID, uh, twice a day, um, but be aware you can also use BD as well for twice a day and then intramuscularly is IM uh, no more than 300 mg. Okay this was number three so we got 10 mg atorvastatin, QD once a day, PO by mouth orally and no more than 80 mg. Finally, we had 100 units of insulin per ml. So this was slightly different. This time, um, you'd start maybe with insulin, insulin 100 units per ml, 
and then the rest is the same. You've got QD once a day and SC subcutaneously uh, by injection. Okay guys, hope you found that short video useful. Check out our other videos on YouTube. And if you did like this, then please do like and subscribe to our videos. If you're interested in learning more about Medical English, check out our website and our Medical English courses, um, wles.net. Been a pleasure working with you. Take care.